Alright, so the other day I posted a Twitter poll on what video you guys wanted to watch, and you guys wanted to hear about my um, encounter with a trackhead. So, <laughs> yeah, this is uh, this is a story. So, alright, so me and my boy Hydra Rex we play at Xbox a lot, and we're good friends in our fr IRL. Um, our families know each other. Like, we're really close, um, so yeah, our families decided to go to a Portuguese restaurant in the hood, so, I guess you can say it was a bad place, bad area, I guess, um, so yeah, um, our parents were inside, and me and my boy Rex were outside just chilling, and this was on Mother's Day, so it was a really good day, like, it was like a really good day, it was like the sun was shining, it was beautiful, right, we're just chilling outside, um, and then this, this rain, this random stranger with a box comes towards us, like, telling us his story, like, we even care, like, <laughs> this kid, would, like, this guy scared me so much, like, my heart was beating so fast the entire time, it was crazy, so, basically, he was telling us how he got, got jumped for some reason, and that he got jumped, and then he told us how he smoked crack and weed a lot, and then he said he was getting help. I don't remember the full story because, like, I, I wasn't paying attention because, like, I just wanted to go, like, inside. Like, he was scaring me so much. Like, it was crazy. I just wanted to get out of that situation because, like, this kid can be armed, who knows. And he had a box of them, so. There was a point where, oh, yeah, and basically the box was sold with a bunch of DVDs that he was trying to sell for 20 bucks, which was 100% not worth it because nobody watches DVDs nowadays. It's all about Netflix. Anyways, he was trying to sell that, and uh, he was digging towards the bottom of the box for some reason. And I, put, I like I was thinking about the worst case scenarios, and I'm like, oh my god, what if he has like a gun in there? But luckily, he didn't. Thank God, because if he did, I would have been freaking sprinting for my life, dude. Thank God he didn't. But um, yeah, he was dude, he was just really weird guy. Like had so many problems, and um, yeah, I wish I had actually understood what he said because like it would have been a better story but I honestly don't remember because I was so freaking scared my heart was like about to explode like I was about to have a heart attack but yeah he started talking to us um he said he got jumped he said his, he said his wisdom teeth was like like something was wrong with him because he got jumped someone hit him there and he was like, he was spitting out blood. Like, every time he spit on the ground, there was blood on it. I'm just like, ew. And then he put, like, his hand in his mouth. It's kind of nasty. And we ended up shaking his hand at the end, so that's kind of nasty. I guess it kind of touched his saliva, but... <laughs> Anyways, um... And he started talking about his problems. He about to get, like, some help because he was smoking, like, a lot of crack and a lot of weed. And, yeah. So, basically... He told us this story for like no reason. I guess he just needed someone to talk to. I don't know why he chose kids though, because <laughs> that's kind of weird. Yeah, this kid, this guy barely, really, he really scared me. And uh, there's a point where we're about to go back inside. We're like, oh, our, we're probably, we have to go eat soon, so we're gonna go inside. And he wants to use our phone to call his girlfriend. And he had a phone. I don't know why he wanted to use ours, so. Um, my boy Rex, he was like, oh, nah, my phone's low on battery, so he didn't give it to him. Luckily, that guy didn't ask me to use my phone, because I don't know what I would have said. But, um, there was probably a really good chance he would have stole our phones, because, I don't know, because he had a phone, why would he want to use ours? Like, he would probably have just, like, dipped with our phones. Like, see you later, I'm out this. Like, come on, dude. It was a really scary experience, I'm not even gonna lie, dude, I wish I wasn't there. By the way, um, that, that restaurant we were in, we both hated the food, so don't go to it. I'm not going to say the name because that would be really mean, but yeah, don't go to that restaurant. Yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty much the story. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, yeah, if you guys want more stories, make sure you drop a thumbs up. I'm out. Peace.